Hello, I'm Hugo Monier and this is Stuart Hogg, TNT's newest recruit. And here we have the Rugby World Cup match schedule. Over the next 10, 15 minutes, we're going to be talking through the riders, the racers, all the different pools, essentially, to get to this point here as to who's going to win it. Hoggy, how are you feeling? Now, you're not going to be playing, but you're going to have a huge amount of an opinion on who you think is going to go well. Mate, I've literally, this is the first time I've seen this. Oh, really? Yes. On, in front of me right now, and I'm hugely excited about this. It's um, I'm looking going. There's a number of teams that are going to win this. <laughs> you're, you're normally going right. Like this is it. This yeah. is who's going to be in the final. But you're looking at the pools. This one is incredible. Oh, we'll get into this that. This pool is incredible. But I'm hugely excited, Hugo. Hugely excited. Hoggy, let's start with Paul A. You've got the host in there. Yeah. New Zealand, Italy, Uruguay, Namibia. Let's start with New Zealand. How's their form been for you? See, this is the thing, Hugo, right? In New Zealand, you can never, ever write these guys off. Never write them off. And they've been written off in the last year. Exactly. But the thing is, I always love this because they, they, everybody expects them to do well, but they just kind of come in, slip under the radar. They're not, they're not like in-your-face type thing, if yeah. you know what I mean. So, mate, you've watched the, over the last couple of weeks the different teams they've put out. They have got a huge amount of quality. Yeah. And you're thinking, from, from us, we, we always talk about the back line, don't we? We yeah. ain't interested up front. But <laughs> the back line, they could have two or three different back lines and every single player will do a job. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, mate, they, they are quality. But this is a team that I'm, I'm hugely excited about. France. Okay. The hosts, mate. They, honestly, they've got the best talent in world rugby. And if they get it right, I'm not going to go into it straight away. But they'll, be, they'll go far. If we're to almost divide this pool, what we're currently saying is New Zealand, France are in a league on their own. Yeah. And actually, it's perfectly set up because you've got the Midland team in Italy who are probably the best of Uruguay yeah. and Namibia. Would that be a fair Very, very unknown. Very unknown. So we've not seen a huge amount of these guys. But um, I'd, I'd like to think that the Italians have got two wins there. Um, which then again, you know, depend on, on, on when they play, will boost their confidence to get ahead of these, these two teams. So. Um, Mate, they, they'll give everything. They're, yes, they're an incredibly course. passionate side. And, yeah. and, you know, that was one of the teams that I generally hated playing against because if they're in the game at 60 minutes, they're in the game for the whole thing. We've gone through Paul A. Who's winning it? And who's coming second? I reckon New Zealand are going to beat France. They're going to beat the, home, the host nations yeah, in time. Paris. Yeah. Game one. Yeah. You don't agree with that, do you? You don't agree with that, do you? No, no, no. I'm not saying anything. I'm just... Making sure that you're sure. New Zealand, which means a runner up a pool eight. So New Zealand to beat France, game one, New Zealand to then, and then, their way and through. then this will almost give them the kick up the backside. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I'm getting too excited. Getting getting too excited. Way too excited. Getting too excited. Okay, so just to confirm, pool A won by New Zealand. Well, by the handwriting, by the way. Handwriting's good. Stunning. Runners up being France. France yeah. Okay, cool. If there is to be a pool of death, it's got to be the one that Scotland find themselves in and Paul B, because that is yeah. obscenely competitive, isn't it? I would hate to be playing in this. Genuinely hate to be playing in this because physical. Okay, you've got the world Th champs, physical team. world number one. Yeah. Scotland, who did very well in the Six Nations. Yeah. Tonga, with the recent law legislation with world rugby. All my I've got the likes of my Charles Piertel, Israel Falau in it. And Romania, unfortunately for them, have just found themselves in the wrong place uh, at yeah. the wrong time in Pool B. So let's start with South Africa, the world champions. Are they going out to defend their title or to win their title? What do you think the mindset's going to be? They have be? to win. They have to win. You can't, like, for me, any time you've got to defend anything, you're, you've got the wrong mindset, in my, in my eyes. You've got to go attack everything, you've got to go play. Incredible amount of physicality in this team. And they've got a game plan that suits them down to the ground. Yeah. I can't see any team beating this. I can't see anybody beating uh, South Africa. Okay. In, in this pool. In this pool. In this pool. It's a huge challenge for them, and someone will correct me if I'm wrong, but I think only one side has won back-to-back -back World Cups, which was New Zealand, 11 and 15. 11 15. That's the challenge of yeah. South Africa. But you think that they are the best of this, despite Ireland yeah. being number they, they, one side. They, they, they've got a game plan that just squeezes the life out of you. They're, they're very much, um, you know, apply as much pressure as they possibly can through their kicking game, through their defence. That's what they're renowned for, and they're bloody good at it. Yeah. So the, the squeeze you and the squeeze you and the squeeze you until they suffocate the life out of you. I can't see any team beating this in, okay. uh, in, uh, in this pool. Ireland. Number one side in the world. Yes. When they play, 
at their best, they are incredible. Much like South Africa, in terms of their half, get out there. They ain't interested in playing. But, like I said, Conor Murray, Johnny Sexton, well, the partnership is up there with the best in world rugby yeah. as a 9 and 10. I mean, Irish fans won't like me saying it, but we've been here before. They were the number yeah. one side in 2018, weren't they? Had an unbelievable Six Nations that year. But they've never been able to go past the quarterfinals. We'll get to that point. But do you think this is the year where they're able to at least get beyond a place where they've never been before? I think from the Northern Hemisphere, um, especially the home unions, this is the best bet. This is the best bet for me. We, we've previewed Ireland for years on end and thinking, right, this is, the, this is the game plan, this is what they're going to come with, and you're defending something completely different. Yeah. Every single game, they've got another trick play, and it was the same with Leinster, with Munster, all the club sides are the exact same. They've got unbelievable rugby players. Yeah. They're going to come up with a trick play, three, four phases in, um, and it'll come off. It'll yeah. come off. So, but like, as I said earlier, I like to say Conor Murray, uh, Johnny Sexton, um, Peter Romani in the, in the back row, they get things right, mate. They could go very, very far. Scotland. Oh, winners, winners. <laughs> I'm not laughing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> mate, a lot of Scotland's play comes down to how things are going up front. You get, you get Ali Price, Ben White, you know, Finn Russell playing on the front foot. You know, I think, guy's a genius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a genius. You get him playing on the front foot, there's nobody better. Our, our big thing in the Scotland team for years has been, yes, we can score four or five tries, without a shadow of doubt. We've got um, you know, players that can do that. With Steve Tandy, who I believe is the best defence coach in world rugby at the minute, I, I truly believe that, I've, I haven't worked on for the last couple of years. Uh, Scotland's biggest thing is the defence. If you can concede minimal tries and score, obviously that's the, the aim of the game, we give it, the Scotland give themselves every opportunity. And yeah. I know Steve works incredibly hard to make sure that defence is spot on and he encourages boys to be themselves defensively. Tonga, we already touched upon. The back line is absolutely sensational. They're going to be a threat for everyone in this competition. Yep. In Romania, where well, they found themselves really unlucky. But Hoggy, I'm going to have to ask you once again, who's winning the pool? Who's coming second? South Africa. What? South Africa to win. And the runners up. I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> Ireland. Scotland don't make out of the group. I ain't getting back into the country. <laughs> <laughs> Paul C. Okay, the standout teams in it, respectfully, are Wales and Australia. Wales, obviously, an awful Six Nations, but Warren Gatland has had a couple of months yep. of them in pre season. How do you think they're going to get on? Never write this lot off. I, I, Wales, Gat's back in charge. The, he's unbelievable. He knows how to make these Welsh boys tick. And I don't know if you've seen the footage of their pre-season. You know they've been in, <laughs> they've been everywhere, mate. They've been in, you know, Switzerland and I, I, you know George North and and, and Lee Halfpenny. So their Instagram, it looks incredible what they've been up to, and they are in some shape at the minute. Some interesting techniques as yeah, well. Yeah, mate. Um, and I Australia, get, Eddie Jones. Eddie Jones, he, I mean, we know he's a brilliant yeah, yeah, yeah. World Cup coach, but his, I mean, this is his second coming back in Australia and yeah. hasn't exactly started the way he'd have wanted it to do. Do you think he can peak and get it right? Especially when you look at Fiji, Georgia and Portugal. I mean, Fiji are going to be tough. They're always really tough. But Georgia and Portugal, he'll back himself to be able to do something pretty special in this point. Yeah, ex 100%. Like, the Australians with the quality they've got, we've not seen the best of them in the, in the past couple of weeks, but... Again, as you said, it's pointless peaking now. Um, they're, they're always there or thereabouts. As soon as you know, these guys will get into these kind of stages, um, and that's when they come into their own. I might be wrong. I'm going to discount Fiji, Georgia, and Portugal. I think Fiji are going to be brilliant. Yeah. They'll give us moments. They'll Hugely probably score the try of the tournament. Yeah. But do they have the consistency to be able to compete with Australia and, and Wales? I think, I hope you agree, that they probably won't. So with that in mind and narrowing it down, who tops the group? Who comes second? Who am I going to? I'm going to go Australia. OK, Australia. Winner of Pool C. To win Pool C. And then... Runner-up. Wales or Fiji? Uh, I'm going to go Wales. OK. 
It's coming together. It's coming together. We're getting right. there. Paul D, let's discuss England. You previously said that England are your dark horses. Yeah. Paul Six Nations, but time together with Steve Borfrey. He's got the coaching team that he wants. He's got a lot more time. How do you think they're going to prepare and fare in this pool? When these guys decide to play rugby, they're unbelievable. Yep. If they're going to kick the life out of the ball, um, they're good at it. But I'd, I'd love to see these guys actually generally chuck the ball around and, and play to their strengths. And if they do that, they'll get it right. They will get it right. Japan, we know, they hosted the last World Cup, play a fast, fluid style of rugby. They unfortunately knocked Scotland out of the yep. quarterfinals last time round. Do you think they can reach those feats again or reach those heights again? I'd love to see them do that. I think when you, when you talk about basic skills in rugby, these guys are unbelievable. Yep. Their catch pass is up there with the best. Do you think they're a team that actually just understand exactly who they are well, on par with yeah. the likes of New Zealand? The cohesion in that team is, is, is one of the best I've ever come across. And I remember playing against these guys numerous times and uh, they're bloody difficult. Yep. They're bloody difficult to play against. I get much like, you know, we are talking earlier about, you know, 60 minutes into the game. The longer these guys are in the game, the more difficult it becomes. We played them at the last World Cup and we were chasing shadows for days. Yeah. It was incredibly difficult. Argentina, based on physicality, we know everything about yep. them. They're going to be extraordinarily hard yep. in the same group as England. They beat England actually in November. They're going to be extremely difficult. Samoa, quite a lot like Tonga, have a fairly yeah. similar way of mm -hmm. playing, physicality, free flowing, yep. offloading, and Chile, unfortunately for them, probably not going to make too much noise in no. this group. Who wins this group? Who comes second, Hoggy? Proud Scotsman. That's right, England on the board, will they? We, we, I was runner up. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to go England. England, okay, England to win the pool, yeah. which I presume would mean that Argentina as the runner up. Yeah. Okay, we can narrow our focus in to the middle of this board, which is wonderful. We have it here New Zealand, Ireland, South Africa, and France, Australia, Argentina, England, and Wales. We'll go back to this. New Zealand, Ireland, quarter-final. Who's winning that, Hoggy? Oh, mate. It's crazy, isn't it? See, this is, look at this. You're thinking this, how, it, how, this would be more enjoyable for me if this was a semi-final and this was a semi-final. Yeah, 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 yeah. But unfortunately, we're going to lose two bloody good teams here. Of course, you could lose in Rain this quarter-final, the reigning world champions or the host nations. Or you could lose the most successful rugby side that the game's ever seen against the number one side no. in the world in the quarterfinals. That's oh, just baby. how it's, that's how the cookie crumbles, unfortunately. I love rugby, absolutely <laughs> love rugby. Um, so winners, New Zealand, Ireland. Um, see, the, Ireland have done them over a couple of times in the past few years. They won their first ever series yeah. in New Zealand last summer, so they've got that confidence on the road. Let's go for it, mate. So it's the first time Ireland will progress yeah. for a quarterfinal and they're going to do it by knocking out New Zealand. Yeah. Right, quarterfinal two, South Africa against France. France. France, just like that. Yeah, mate, th this, this is when they'll come into their own. Okay. I don't think we'll see the best of them in the pool stages, but when they get to here, and this is when they're going to have their fun. Okay, stick it in there. Winner of quarterfinal two, France. Okay, quarterfinal one. Got Australia against Argentina. Eddie Jones up against Checker. Australia have been here numerous times, numerous times, and this this is when they start to to know what they're doing. Argentina, ah, mate, this is Australia. Oh, I'd have said Argentina. Would you? Yeah. Well, this is good. I'd have said Argentina, but that's, but that's fine. Yeah, this is good. Okay, we're, we're and <laughs> then away. England against Wales, who wins that? Okay, so our semi-finals are Australia against France and England against Ireland. How good is this, seeing the Northern Hemisphere? Three Northern Hemisphere Three Northern teams Hemisphere. in the semi-finals. Yeah. Not had a World Cup winner from the Northern Hemisphere for 20 years. Last one, 2003, England in Australia. Who wins between Australia and France? They're going to play. They're France? Gonna, they're, yeah, they're going to play. France are in the final, home Fra final. France are in the final. And they're going to play England or Ireland. 
this, this is when you're saying, right, you've got three seconds to <laughs> no, do this one. No, I mean, no, this, no. This, this for me could be the game of the World Cup. Sorry, Hugo. I'm very, very sorry. <coughs> no, don't be sorry. France against Ireland final in Paris. Who's the winner? I'm going to go with the hosts, the host nation. I'm going to go with France. I think, as I say, we'll probably not see the best of them leading up to it, but here, here, I was going to save the best to last. So there you go. France against Ireland in the final with the host nation France to win the World Cup as predicted by Stuart Hogg. Get in touch with us on your socials, TNT Sports, TNT Rugby. If you agree or disagree, let us know in the comment section. Stuart Hogg, thank, thank you very you, much. Thank you.